Some real world concern over new numbers showing just how much white supremacist propaganda and events have increased in our own state. We told you last night it's at an all time high, and our Aaron Jones tonight's taking a closer look at the trend and also what you can do if you notice it where you live. We're looking at ADL's heat map. It tracks hate, extremism, assault, and terrorism. At the Anti Defamation League office, Leah White tracks and manages incidents of white supremacist propaganda. So it's important for us to track the data so that we can know that it's happening and we can monitor the trends that we're seeing. She says last year, Texas led the nation in incidents. 527 cases recorded, a 61% increase over the previous year. We used to only see this type of white um, supremacist propaganda distribution on a like once a month basis and now we're seeing it almost daily. She says North Texas-based Patriot Front is responsible for most of the incidents. Last summer, 31 men believed to be affiliated with the group were arrested in Idaho for allegedly conspiring to riot near a Pride event here locally. Patriot Front uh, was responsible for about 80% of the propaganda distribution in Texas. And they, a major reason for that is because in order to be a member of this organization, they have a monthly requirement of amount of propaganda that they need to distribute to remain an active member. The ADL says mostly they're distributing anti-Semitic, racist, and anti-LGBTQ flyers. They've been found in pretty much every North Texas city. You know, when people see or uh, experience something like this, to not, uh, you know, confront these folks. The nonprofit says instead, report it to police. While this is not a crime, it helps them track activity. Also, crimes like trespassing could be a possibility depending on the laws of a particular jurisdiction. I think it's important for the public to know that we are uh, really on top of this and that it's a real problem. But we think it's important for everyone to have the information so they know what to do when they're confronted with, with a hate group. And tonight, the ADL says if you come in contact with this propaganda, it's also a good idea to report it to them. Not only will it help with their tracking and research, but they can also offer support. Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.